Centuries have passed since the end of the remote control wars. After many victories and many losses, and the mass destruction of dairy products, we reached a time of peace. However, the balance has been disturbed. In the lands of Lincoln, in the fires of Mount Kirk, the Dark Lord Michael is forging a master remote control. One remote control to rule them all. The only hope for humankind lies within several brave questions. Our tale begins with a veteran from the remote control wars. One young man named Eric John Testy. Hey, Eric! Gavin! Gavin, yes! That is what they used to call me. Gavin the Great. But I am now Gavin the Lightning Man. Oh, so, Gavin, what's up? I want you to do another quest. No! No quest here! An evil warlord, Michael Kirkham, is planning to take over the world. No. No more quests, not from you. Eric, it's different, I promise. He tried to kill Paul. No. He succeeded. Paul is dead. He's killed Paul. No. He's killed Paul. He's killed Paul. No. He's killed Paul. He killed Paul. No. He killed Paul. He stabbed him. He ripped his throat off. He killed Paul. No. He killed Paul. No. He killed Paul. He killed Paul. No. He killed Paul. No. We call my quest now, please, Eric. No. 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 He killed Paul. Paul. He killed Paul, Eric. He killed Paul. Eric, he killed Paul. Let's go. So, Gavin, I suppose we go about stopping Michael before it's too late. Oh, well. Well, we shall have to assemble a team of brave questers and attempt to fight Michael in his own lair. I have a list of possible people and we shall have to audition them and see if they are worthy of the job. Are you ready? Ah! Yeah! Hello, I'm John Owen, and I've come here for a proposal to join your quest. John Owen, I do not want you completely shitting up my quest again! Gavin the Great is not happy with John Owen's pitch so far. But will John Owen's new powers turn the tides for him? 
No, wait, I have a new power. Power of explosions. Bravo! Well, I should be happy for you to join my team of questers, John. Sit down. Good afternoon. I see. You look like a cunning fella. What is your power? I have loads of powers. Can we see them, please? Can't be asked. Can't be asked, man. I actually just came here to go to the toilet. Because I can't be arsed to wait until I get home. I'd rather stick a pigeon of my arse than invest in your powers, Mr. Arse Man. Oh, and by the way, I will not be investing in you. Oh, the toilet's that way. Off you go. It seems that Gavin is rather angry with Lewis's lack of commitment and powers. Perhaps the next hopeful individual to enter the den will be more successful. So, what are your powers then? Wait, I have a list! I can turn invisible! Watch! Sorry, you silly fox! Get out of my side before I fry you! Making a bad first impression, things don't look good for Adam. Hopefully, he will have something that will impress Gavin and Eric. Look. What? I have another power! I can play guitar! Watch! Wait, I have another power! I can teleport! Watch! You're simply the best! Better than all the rest! Better than anyone! Anyone I ever met! I'm stuck on your heart! I hang on every word you say! It's a bit shit, but it'll do the job for doing the questless. But uh, I'll have to call you Ginger Bastard, I'm afraid. <laughs> you look very familiar. You seem to bear a shittingly close remembrance of Lord Duck Denim. <laughs> Oh, that's marvellous. Do you have any special powers? <coughs> Very well, take a seat. I suppose you are in honour of our old team member, Lord Bado Boy, or whatever the f*** your name is. Sit down. 